Okay, so last video we uh, we talk about the deployment settings that we have and I have shown you like how can you enable the deployment settings so that your sandbox is should be capable enough to receive the changes from other environment or your production should be capable enough to receive the changes from your sandbox or other environments, right? Once you're done with the, uh, the, the, the deployment settings, next thing we have to understand is the change set. Theoretically, I explained you what is change set, but this time let's do it, okay? Uh, so for an example, uh, what is the sandbox name I had? Let me just quickly see. D I N O P A T Dev. Okay. D I N O P A T Dev. Guys, I have this sandbox and I have a production org which name is production. So there are two environments I have. One is D I N O P A T. Uh, I don't know why this name is a little odd, but uh, you know, uh, I have two environments now this and this. Okay. My goal is to push some metadata from this environment to production. I'm going to demonstrate you now uh, how to push the metadata from this to this. So how to do the deployment from this sandbox to this production. Okay. In order to do that, so deployment is whatever object field apex class anything that you create as an admin or developer you have to push it to production so the very first thing okay the step number one that you have to do is you have to create an outbound chain set let me show you this when you log into uh, any environment any sandbox or production right search with chain set you see there are two types of chain sets available inbound and outbound right what is inbound and what is outbound? Uh, understand this line. Whenever you have to send something out of this environment, here in this environment, you have to create the outbound chain set. Right? You are sending the metadata, whatever you have developed, you are sending from the sandbox to this production. So whenever you are sending something out of whatever environment, in that environment, you have to create an outbound chain set. And in the other environment where you are deploying it, there it should be inbound. Clear? Where, where is outbound? Where is inbound? Outbound is the sandbox from where you are getting the metadata and pushing to production. There you have to create an outbound chain set. Same outbound chain set that you have created in that sandbox. When you push that to the production, in the production it, it calls as inbound chain set. What is chain set? Chain set is the packet where you are adding all the components that you have created. You created 10 custom objects, 100 fields, 200 Apex classes, 300 test classes. You have to add all these components one by one in the bucket that is called chain set and zip it up and then that is called outbound chain set and then upload it to your production environment. So in this case, this is source. The sandbox is the source and this is the target organizations. This is the destination or target. Okay. So this is called source and this is called target or destinations. Uh, I mean, this word you'll be hearing a lot, right? So basically in the source organizations or the source environment, you have to create the outbound chain set and here it will look like the same chain set. What you have created as an outbound, it will be available in the target as inbound. So first, step is you have to create an outbound chain set in the source organization second step is what add all the components what is that add all the components meaning whatever that you want to deploy you have to one by one add in that chain set once you're done with that third step is upload it upload it to who upload it to the production i mean the the, the target organizations wherever it see it's not necessary that you have to deploy from source i mean production sandbox to production only right you need you might have to deploy like in this case no we we have to deploy from dev sandbox to qa sandbox both are sandbox so in this in that case dev sandbox is your source and this is your target so in that source you have to create that outbound chain set you have to add all the components third step is upload it to the target org Right, so upload it to the target org wherever you want to deploy be your QA sandbox, EVT sandbox, production, whatever you know what is your target org, right? Okay, I'm just telling you the theoretical part and then we'll do a practical of this. Okay, 
Fourth step is once you upload that change state from your source to target, the fourth step is you have to log into your target org. You have to log into the production org. And the fifth step is look for uh, inbound change set. Look for inbound change set in target org. Right? The one the packet that you have built right where you added all the component that is called outbound chain set and you have uploaded it to production in the production you have to log in and look for the same thing as inbound chain set and when you once once you get that inbound chain set six step is deploy by the way we have two options okay deploy or validate validate will help you to validate if there is something problem you will get the error deploy means it will validate first and then it will copy that thing right it will deploy it Okay, so these are the six steps that you have to perform in order to deploy something from one environment to another environment. Now I'm going to show you practically how to do it. Okay, so first step is what I have to log into the sandbox and create an outbound chain set. So this is my, this is the sandbox, correct? Here, look for outbound chain set, right? So let's create an outbound chain set. I can't really do it in the lightning. I think this is a problem of Safari. Okay. Uh, uh, normally it, it will not ask you to go to like a uh, classic environment, but because I'm using Safari as a, as my browser, it is asking me. Okay. So click on new chain set. I'm creating an outbound chain set. Okay. So let's say, uh, sprint one underscore version two. This is my chain set name. Okay. Give some descrip description if you want. What is the next step I have done with my first step that is outbound chain set creation. Okay, so it's like create, create outbound chain set. Next step is add all the component that you want to deploy. So I'll go here. Do you see add components, chain set components? Yeah, click on this add button and keep adding all the components. So let's say I have a custom object. So search for custom object or custom fields I have. So click on this custom field. These many fields I have, click whatever you want to deploy and then add to chain set. Okay, I, I, I don't want to add this because I have to see if I want to add this right then I have to make sure that this object is also available in this destination or or the target or uh, so it's an opportunity as a standard object which will be available so I'm just adding it to the chain set guys nice. this is how you have to keep adding the chain set component you know what sometime when you're you know deploy when your development sprint is let's say two three months you are doing the development and three four developers are doing the development your chain set component looks like 600 700 thousand component you have to add one by one Okay, so we, we use something called deployment tracker. It's an Excel where we as an admin keep adding the component after you create it. So uh, once you add the chain set component here, what is the third step? Right, third step is upload it to the target organizations, right? So here I have a button called upload. Do you see this button called upload? So click on this button. Once you click on this button, here in this screen, you will see this, this line is very important, okay? so. Here you will see only the environments um, with which the deployment setting has been done. What I mean is, you remember the deployment setting in the previous video? I actually enable the deployment setting so that product, uh, from sandbox, from this particular sandbox, I will be able to push the data to production. That's why I'm seeing only production. But in my production, I actually have total how many environments? Total, I have four environments why i am not able to deploy that from this sandbox to another sandboxes like you know real, real estate sandbox why i'm not going to do it because if you see the deployment setting the setting is not allowed so the setting has not been enabled that's why i cannot deploy it from my uh, this particular sandbox to other sandboxes i enabled only for production so i'm seeing this production okay so select this and and, and click on upload okay so i'm done with my uh, i think four steps third step is done fourth step is you have to log into the target organizations which means you have to log into the productions okay i have already logged in here okay so here you have to note one point whenever you upload the chain set okay for whenever you upload the chain set to the um, to the target org okay it depends on how many components you add normally it takes few seconds for the chain set to be available as an inbound chain set in this target org. What I mean is, so you are sending something from this sandbox to this production, right? 
the moment you click on upload button it is not that in the next second it will be available you're working in cloud platform right so it takes some time so if you're if your number of component is thousand, it takes some time, like couple of minutes, like 10, 15 minutes also to, you know, to get this change set available. Okay. But I have only one component added, so it will be available in few seconds only. Right. So I'll just quickly. So my fourth step is log into the target org. Okay. And once you log into the target org, uh, I have logged into my target org. This is my production org. Okay. What I have to search here, log into my target org. I have logged in. What is the fifth step? Look for inbound chain set. Correct? The one that you uploaded as an outbound chain set from your sandbox. Here you have to come and look for as an inbound. So I N B O U N D chain set. I got this inbound chain set. Go to here. You will be able to see the same outbound chain set that you have uploaded from your sandbox as an inbound chain set. Do you see this, guys? You see this sprint one version two? This is the outbound chain set which you uploaded from your sandbox right so it is available in your production org as an inbound chain set okay and then finally you have two button one is validate one is deploy validate it's a very important uh, you know uh, very important uh, feature called validate what happened is basically sometime we have like uh, let's say tomorrow morning seven o'clock i have to go live what i do normally is i you know create the outbound chain set get ready with the chain set as an inbound chain set and I click on this validate button to check whether my chain set is good to deploy. So, uh, let me give you a situation. Okay. Suppose you have a, you have an object, custom object, and uh, you have created one apex class. The apex class is actually using a custom field from the object, but you forgot to add that custom field in your uh, chain set. You forgot to add that custom field in your chain set component. What will happen if you click on validate? No, you'll get an error because your apex class that you're trying to deploy is trying to refer to that field, which you forgot to add. That happens very frequently. Okay. So when you click on validate, it will give you that error. So you can see that error, go there, go in the, you know, source org, add that back in the chain set, re-upload it, and then again, try to validate. So these kinds of back and forth things happen. So validate will help you to validate whether the components are good to be deployed or not. Once you get a green signal, if you click on deploy, every single component that you have added in the chain set will be copied into your production. Clear? So these are the seven, six steps that you have. I'll quickly repeat whatever you have done. Okay. First thing is I actually created an outbound chain set in the sandbox, then added all the components, then uploaded it in the target org, then logged into the target org and then look for the inbound chain set and then click on validate or deploy simple steps. Okay. Um, this is, these are the steps. I mean, I mean, I, I actually, I'm not, uh, I mean, I actually have worked with other, uh, CRM systems also. And what I've seen is right. Deployment in Salesforce is very easy. Okay. With this chain set, right? It's not that tough. If you know what all component you have to deploy, see the list, create the chain set, add the component, click on deploy. That's it. But the problem will come. You know, when uh, I think you guys have seen the test classes videos, right? Where I have explained what is test class. The problem will come when you have don't have enough test coverage. The problem will come when you forget to add few dependent components in the check in the in the you know outbound chain set, right? So these kind of problem will keep coming. You just have to click on validate. See what's the problem. You get a clear defined error message. Read the error message. Go back to your source org. Fix that. Again, create a new chain set. I mean, or you don't have to create it every time you can actually clone and create it from the existing one, re-upload it back again. All right. So these are the steps for the deployment process, which is very easy in Salesforce. So these are the uh, six steps to deploy some metadata from one environment to another environment. Hope this is clear. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.